I know this is a while back now, but I kind of wasn't ready to talk about it. I do want to just say thank you guys for sending your prayers and good vibes about my dog. Unfortunately, though, he did pass away a couple of weeks ago. Just didn't want to take it there, and I don't even want to take it there now, but I just, like, it's kind of been lingering that, like, I haven't mentioned it, but... It's okay. He was 10 years old. He lived a great life. He was such a good dog. Miss him so much, but it's part of life. I know a lot of you guys said you know the feeling or you've been there yourself, but yeah, let's, before I get too upset, let's just get into it, okay? Hey Whovians, welcome or welcome back. Today we're getting into episode 12 of series 2 of Doctor Who. (laughs) You can't believe it. I believe that this is a two-parter. Hopefully the cliffhanger doesn't kill me too much, but I'm very excited to get into it after those interesting last two episodes. Sorry if I was a little harsh in them. I was fine with the last one, but I'm... It didn't, it felt like an almost, just like a different show. So, I mean, no, it didn't, but they just weren't my favorite episodes. But I'm excited to get to this two-part series finale and then hop skip into series three. Like, what? Anyways, I don't have much to say. So, if you'd like the uncut reaction, check out my Patreon below. I also newly added the YouTube memberships if you're not like a Patreon person but would like to receive the episodes early, the YouTube edits. Oh, I also have a bunch of other tiers. I'd like to do a monthly live stream and chat about the show. I think that could be really fun, intimate, and cool. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Planet Earth. This is where I was born. Me too. And this is where I died. <gasps> Shut your mouth. For the first 19 years of my life, nothing happened. I mean, obviously she dies on Earth as she's a human being. So hopefully that's just a little trickery for us. He took me away from home in his magical machine. He showed me the whole of time and space. Oh my god, I have chills. Beautiful. Well, are you gonna stay with me forever? Don't tell me that this is the end of Rose's fucking character. I don't think so. But then came the army of ghosts and came Torchwood in the war. Hmm. Torchwood is and that's coming. When it all ended. This is a story of how I died. Stop it. Stop. I have chills. I'm scared. Stop. Also, I feel like, for my knowledge, like, I'm really not supposed to know too much about Torchwood, but I feel like she's just talked about it as if we're supposed to know. Like, I don't remember her learning about Torchwood in an episode, in depthly anyways, but I guess I do know it's like a council who do the same thing as a doctor, but more of a, in a corporation, perhaps. Are we back in London? The story of how she died, what? Jackie, uh, oh, been forever. <laughs> so cute. And we got you this. What's it called? Bazoolium. Bazoolium. Oh, this feels like the show again. Granddad Prentice, he's on his way. But he died like ten years ago. Oh my god, she's lost it. Mum, ten past. Here he comes. To... Here we are then. Dad, say hello to Rose. Then she grows. That's giving alien activity. They're everywhere. I love how that's a more supernatural thing, but it's still giving sci-fi. Ghosts, what's going on? At least he's calling them ghosts. That's cool. No one's running or screaming or freaking out. Why should we? Twelve minutes past. So they they go. Torchwood. Oh, I guess we might be really introing for Torchwood because Torchwood is about to start. Just measured the ghost energy at 5,000 gigawatts. She kind of looks familiar. Some of the ghosts starting to talk. And there seems to be a... What makes you think it's granddad? It just feels like him. Yeah, I was going to say, like, smell, those how do they know? Can't you smell it? In the morning. 
more you want it, the stronger it gets. Sort of, yeah. An energy like thing. Or that. But you're wishing him into existence. You're spoiling it. He's the realist. Yeah, but they're human. You can see them, they look human. Not to me. I know. But we had nothing. I had the feeling that Torchwood wasn't even on planet Earth. I guess I'll find out. But there it is. Anything we can do? <sighs> it gets into your head, this thing. Like it's staring at you. All right, we'll catch up later. Thanks, Raj. This is out of bounds. And that's the point. It's completely safe. They're just building new offices. It's not worth it for a snog. <laughs> is a snog just a makeout? Oh shit. That's awkward. Oh god. I don't be daft. Where have you gone? I love dog. Gareth! Now stop it, Gareth! I'm not kidding! Just stop it! Sorry, I'm just looking for my friend. Did anyone come down here? It's one of those ghosts. No, it's worse. A Cyberman? Who are you gonna call? Ghost best as Okay, so not that I believe that it was ghost, but I mean, it's definitely not. Plus, I mean, I guess they showed that before. You've changed so much. For the better, I suppose. Do you think you'll ever settle down? I don't never will, so I can't. I'll just keep on traveling. And in 40 years time, 50, there'll be this woman, this strange woman, walking through the marketplace on some planet a billion miles from Earth. She's not Rose Tyler. Not anymore. I mean, she is. It's Grove. And she is human. But I get where she's coming from, I suppose. Online. Something's interfering with a ghost field. Location? It's close. Hold it down. I wonder if we have a trap, though. Like, this one will stay. No. Oh my god. Is it him? It's him. Giving that. Oh, are they gonna transport them in the building? That would be so cool. He's coming. <gasps> my mom's still on Mars. If we end up on Mars, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that she hasn't traveled with them at all. Oh, how marvelous. Happy day. Okay. And you are? Oh, plenty of time for that. You're not one for travelling alone. The doctor and his companion. So where is she? She's just a bit shy, that's all. But here she is. Rose Tyler. Mm. She's, She's not the best I've ever had. Gave her mother up. A bit too blonde. Welcome to Torchwood. OMG. It's a little bear. Torchwood Institute has a motto. If it's alien, it's ours. We strip it down and we use it for the good of the British Empire. This is like the initiative in Buffy. That's a particle gun. It's eight years to get it to work. So what about these ghosts? They're uh, what you might call a side effect. I'd say. Oi, why are you taking that? If it's alien, it's ours. You'll never get inside it. Psychic paper, psychic paper. What are you thinking there, Rose? Something like that was called torture in that house in Scotland. That's right. Where well, you encountered Queen Victoria and the werewolf. Not a lot of people watch my reaction to that one. What do you make of that? This is a void ship. And what is that? Which means I was going to say. Well, it's impossible for starters. It's a vessel designed to exist outside time and space. Traveling through the void. And what's the void? The space between dimensions. Mm. Because the void is the space in between, mm. containing absolutely nothing. You imagine that? Nothing. No light, no dark, no up, no down, no life, no time, without end. Some people call it hell. Someone built the sphere. What for? Why go there? To explore, to escape. You see, we were right. There is something inside it. Oh, yes. So how do we get in there? If we don't! We send that thing back into hell. How did it get here in the first place? Well, that's how it all started. The sphere came through into this world and the ghost followed in its wake. Show me. No, Doctor. <laughs> Just go to the left. 
Slide to the right. Bring it back now, y'all. Fried. I feel okay about this. Okay. Now I feel even better. Because, like, she has the the badge. But I was going to say, if a group of people saw her, like, how does that work? But her putting on the coat just eased my anxiety just a tad. Britain will become truly independent. But you can see for yourself. Next go shifts in two minutes. Cancel it. I don't think so. I'm warning you, cancel it. Oh, sphere comes through. But when it made the hole, it cracked the world around it. And that's how the ghosts get through. That's how they get everywhere. They're bleeding through the fault lines. With the human race hoping and wishing and helping them along. Too many ghosts. And... Positions, ghost shift in one minute. We're in control of the ghosts. Okay. Come on, as you are. Well, is that it? Ghost shift in 20 seconds. Mmm, can't wait to see it. You can't stop us, Doctor. Three, two... Stop one. the shift. I said stop. Thank you. What do you want? Sorry, they sent me from personnel. They said some man had been taken prisoner, some sort of doctor. Checking the lines of communication. Did they tell you anything? Can I see your authorization? Of course. Sure. Well, that's lucky. You see, everyone at Torchwood has at least a basic level of psychic training. This paper is blank. And you're a fake. Ah. Uh, Seal the room. Oh. Call security. Gosh. Can you check the door locks? She just walked right in. Doing it now, sir. Well, if you'd like to take a seat. So these ghosts, whatever they're Chills. Did they build a sphere? Must have. She so that's going to be Ricky, not time. Mickey, right? I don't know who she is, but funny enough, she arrived at the same time as the doctor. Is she one of yours? Never seen her before in my life. Then we can have her shot. Oh, oh all right, then. It was worth a try. That's... That's Rose Tyler. Sorry. Hello. And if that's Rose Tyler, who's she? I'm a mother. I thought I said stop the ghost shift. But I ordered you to stop. Who's doing that? Step away from the desk. Listen to me. Step away from the desk. She can't hear you. They're overriding the system. We're going into ghost shift. Uh oh. What's going on? Yvonne? It can't be. It's active. It's the earpiece. I can't believe he's here. I'm so sorry. They're dead. You killed them. Oh, someone else did that long before I got here. But you okay. killed them. Oh no. It goes inside that brain. What about the ghost chip? Automatic quarantine, but we can't get out. It's alright, babe. We're beating them before we can beat him again. That's why I'm here. The fight goes on. Fight against what? What do you think? <sighs> you two. You come with us. Uh oh. What are they? They came through first. It is a Cyberman, right? Cybermen. Let's go. That ain't gonna do anything. The ghost shift will be increased to 100%. Which means they'll probably come to form. Are they just gonna be like Cybermen? Is that gonna pop? Here we go. Oh, it's gonna open. Is this how she dies? They're Cybermen. Mm -hmm. All of the ghosts are Cybermen. Damn. Millions of them. Oh shit. They're invading the whole planet. It's not an invasion, it's too late for that. It's a victory. I know what's in there. And I'm ready for them, I've got just the thing. Oh yes. Ray gun. This is gonna blast them to hell. Samuel, what are you doing? My name's Mickey. And what's inside it? Rose is down there. That's not Cyberman. <gasps> Daleks? No. I mean, exterminate. I feel like that gun should still work, though. Oh, come on. Oh, 
when they don't give us the, the sneaky peek for a two-parter. So cool. Okay, so that part one was total setup vibes. Part two, execution, aka terminate. Is this the end of Rose's arc? I want to say that from like seeing thumbnails, I want to say that she's in the next season, which is unfortunate. I had to like stop. I had to stop watching Jules react to Buffy because she reacts to Doctor Who and then I was like getting pictures like that's how I knew that Giles Anthony Head was gonna be in Doctor Who and it wasn't a complete shock to me like it would have been you know so I want to say that I know that she's in next season which is annoying but I really could be wrong. I'm excited I hope you guys are too we're gonna watch the last episode of series two. All right, guys, that is it. Please give it a thumbs up if you're excited to wrap it up. I will see you on the next one. It's been